Reverse Corner Pin from Monadnock Media stretches an image using four corner pins, useful for straightening rectangular images that were photographed in perspective in addition to properly flopping images with text. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but Reverse Corner Pin also works in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. You can find it in the Effects browser under Monadnock Media. I've got an image on my timeline with some artwork that was not shot straight. I'd like to use the artwork, but it's got perspective distortion if I simply crop it out. I'll drop Reverse Corner Pin on the clip to straighten it out. A yellow square with four corner pins appears. I'll roughly position the pins to outline the area I'd like to stretch. I'll then choose Fit from the Stretch Mode dropdown to cut the area and remove its perspective. I could also choose Stretched if I wanted to repin the image into another shot using Final Cut's built-in Distort tool. Another great use for reverse corner pin is flopping an image or video clip. This is when you need to mirror an image for editing purposes, but it's got something in it, like text or a logo, that can't be mirrored. I need to mirror this image, but the sign will have backwards text. I'll simply drop Reverse Corner Pin on the image, position the points, and then choose Flip Flop under Stretch Mode. If I need to flop an image with multiple areas of text, I'll use several instances of Reverse Corner Pin using the Flip Stretch Mode, and then flop the whole image with Final Cut's built-in Flipped effect. Reverse Corner Pin from Monadnock Media is a great utility and special effect for your video toolbox. Try out a wide range of great audio and visual effects at fxfactory.com.